few people have lived as extraordinary a life as Mike May, an unrivaled speed skier whose world record still stands, an entrepreneur and advocate for groundbreaking products, a pioneer who dreams dreams and then finds a way to make them happen, and a man who happens to be blind. A freak explosion at the age of three nearly killed Mike, and in an instant, he could only see light and dark. My story is really not about overcoming blindness. It's about exploring life. At the age of 46, he was told that a revolutionary stem cell transplant might be able to restore all or part of his vision. So my initial response was, I don't really believe it. After making my list of pros and cons, I went ahead because I knew that I wasn't being Mike May if I didn't go ahead. I almost didn't have a choice. If I'm a pioneer and I explore, then why the heck am I resisting having this new vision operation just because it's got a whole host of risks associated with it? I've seen that courage in your face. It was very exciting when the bandages came off and I had this whoosh of light and information coming in I could see because I didn't expect it. I expected if I got any vision, it would be in a couple of weeks and maybe a little bit, and all of a sudden it was here, and it was such a surprise. Holy smoke. <laughs> can you see a little bit? I sure can. It was, and it remains, an incredible journey, a story with universal appeal that was chronicled in the best-selling book Crashing Through and featured by respected names like IBM, NPR, the BBC, and HBO to kick off the Snap Judgment senseless episode with a story from Mike May. Speaking at IBM. Being blind really isn't that big a deal and it's a lot better than the alternative. HBO Real Sports. Why did you finally decide to go ahead and do the surgery? Dateline. Wasn't this visceral response where, I want to see, uh, it was more a matter of, this is really interesting. BBC documentary. I absolutely believe, and I'm one of the few people who can tell you from the standpoint of somebody who's been totally blind and somebody who has low vision. Having sight is fantastic, but not having sight is fantastic as well. A host of innovations and business ventures, like the world's first laser turntable and the Sendero accessible GPS systems, bear Mike's entrepreneurial imprint. And his extensive itinerary here and abroad has brought him in contact with both the little known and the well known including standing face-to-face -face with four presidents. Mike skis better blind than most sighted skiers. And your skill and your spirit are doing much to encourage others who might otherwise needlessly limit their own expectations. And uh, Mike and I met some years ago, and our commitment is the same, making sure that in our lives we can individually and collectively spread the message of accessibility for the blind. With audiences big and small, Mike May connects. As soon as we went out there, the, uh, the head of the ski resort came by and said, I, I hate to inform you of this, but our insurance company has informed us that if a blind guy goes out of that starting gate, then the event is canceled. <laughs> and uh, Warren overheard this. He was out there to film these big boys, and he said, well, they said you couldn't go out of the starting gate. What if you go right below it? There's always a way. Mike May, inventor, athlete, and visionary. Embracing, not avoiding challenges. Believing that there's always a way. Be inspired by his compelling story, presented with insight and humor at your next event.